Man, this uh, tapioca pudding is delicious. Oh, what a treat. What a treat. Wow. Woo. Here, hang on just a sec. Ah. Ah, gotta make sure there's nothing on my mustache or my face. We wouldn't want to ruin those uh, two features of me, would we, huh? Oh? <laughs> I hope you all's having a nice day today. If you aren't, it's your fault. Don't blame it on other people or circumstances. If you're not having a good day, it's your fault and no one else's. If you choose to be sad, then that's your choice, baby. <laughs> Don't you get it? Did I ever tell you about the apartment I used to live in? It was a, it was a really nice place. It had 55 units. And uh, I lived there for... I lived there for about 12 years. Really nice place. It was a classy place. And then there was a, a fat girl that moved in to the apartment next to me. That And her bedroom was right next to my bedroom. And the wall must have been paper thin or something, you know? It was awful. You know? I had so much trouble with her. You know, I couldn't believe it. She would snore. Great big pig of a woman. She would snore all night long. So I got her phone number, and I used to call her in the middle of the night when, when she was snoring, just enough time to wake her up, then I'd hang up. This is before they could, you know, tell who was calling. And But that didn't work because, you know, within, you know, 45 seconds, she was asleep again, snoring. She used to drive me nuts. But then a couple of times a week, she'd have her boyfriend spend the night with her, you know? And three or four times a night, they'd be making love. Oh, 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 baby. Oh, ew, ah, ee. Make me want to puke. Some big fat bitch over there having sex? You know, if she was if she was at all attractive and had a nice body and something, I'd, you know, I'd welcome her. You know, I'd like to hear it. I'd like to get in on it. But not some big, fat, ugly bitch. Oh, 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 baby, oh, e, oh. Used to drive me nuts. I'd ha I, I finally had to move my bed out in the dining room. I was the only one in a 55-unit, uh, you know, uh, complex that had their bed in their dining room. I can't listen to her shit all night. She was either snoring or lovemaking, and usually every night it was a combination of both. And then to top it off, the first thing she'd do in the morning is go in the bathroom and go... <coughs> she would, you know, she'd make these awful, gosh darn awful, you know, clearing her throat noises. She'd make, you know, like she was... Throwing up or something all the time. It used to drive me nuts. So I used to go in the bathroom when she was, you know, doing her thing that she did every morning, and I used to sing. I'd sing, The apartment's alive with the sound of mucus. She never did get the message. She was the, you know, neighbor from hell. Why do I tell you these things? So you won't have to put up with stuff like that. 
Number one, they'll move into a place that has paper thin walls. Two, you know, make sure that you don't live to a great big fat bitch. It's going to be love making all night, making you sick to your stomach. Do you understand? <laughs> Why do I tell you my problems for? I know you've got a lot of your own. Most of you are probably sitting there wondering why you can't be as handsome as I am. It's fate, baby, fate. And I'm sitting here wondering why you're such a loser. You know, why are you a loser and I'm not? That's a pretty darn good question, I think. <laughs> no, you're really not a loser. You're not, you're not really not. I know you are. <laughs> sleep it off. Go to bed and sleep it off. What do you do? You go to bed and you have sexy dreams all night. Well, here's another thought, another thing I thought about. For you people that are having problems in the sex department, you know, if you're maybe not satisfying your woman enough, how about, you know, taping up a picture of me on the headboard, you know, on the back of the bed, to give your wife or your girlfriend something to look at. You know, something to get her, you know, get her going. <laughs> Try it. No one will thank me for it. She'll be looking at me and think, oh, man. All my Christmases have come at once. Look at that, babe. And you'll get the best love making you've ever had in your life. Guarantee. Don't you understand what the problem is? Your girlfriend or your wife is tired of you. You're not as attractive as you used to be. But put up a picture of me. Turn your life around, really. 